The recycle event is here, so let's check it out. I'll give you guys some tips and tricks what you can use and not use over here on this recycle event. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today, as we mentioned, we are going to talk about the recycle event, but before we go into that, I've been getting a lot of messages like asking about costumes, like which is the best costume for someone to buy. Let me know in the comments, should I make a costume tier list? I would upload it tomorrow or in two days at max and you guys could still enjoy it for this week's event. Speaking of costume, I hope you guys are getting your Pikachu coins because I have been. So there you go, one costume exchange coupons, 200, and hopefully I'll be able to get another one on my second account this week. But today is not about costumes, today is about this recycle event. Starting with the basics, what is the recycle? So this event is a place where you just sacrifice old items that you don't need. For example, I don't need these EXP cards anymore and I will sacrifice these EXP cards for points. These recycle points, you will be able to exchange them for items that is over here. We have Overlord stickers, we have items for your Z bracelets and we have items for your Rotom, we also have dolls and a bunch of other stuff. So let's check it out. What are the best items to exchange over here? First of all, if you are growing your account, I don't recommend getting any Overlord stickers since they are very expensive. This would probably be a very late thing to do in your account. For example, you have nothing else interesting going on over here on this Happy Exchange and you want to start getting uh, Overlord Ho-Ho, for example, and you don't want to spend Firebooks, so you come over here and spend some recycle points. But usually, first of all, you always want to max out the resources that gives you power directly and those resources are these ones over here for your Z bracelet and these ones over here for your Rotom. Let's go over here to my Rotom first of all and first of all let me just uh, show you my current team power before we start any of this. I'll try to remember of doing this on every time I'm on this second account. So we have 13.8 million power over here and we can see Ray stats and Zacian so these are the two big boys that are important I'll be making more videos on this account showing the progress and let's go to the road Tom I have items over here from previous events first of all so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use them right now one click training and uh, I went to level 60. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do or what I wanted to know because now I need to get some full moon stones. In order to obtain some full moon stones to progress with your Rotom, you have two ways. First of all, you can play over here on the battle front here and over here we can just go to the award preview. This is according to your points that you do on each month. As you can see, you get the specific amount of points and you get rewarded with those moonstones. But of course, these moonstones take like a very long time to actually get. That's why you can also get them on the recycle event. If we scroll all the way down over here, we can see the full moonstones. They are a little bit expensive though. 8,000 of those points of those recycle points and 10 diamonds. I mean, the 10 diamonds is okay. The problem is honestly the recycle points. And if I go over here to my Rotom, I actually need 167. So I need quite a, a, a lot. And from the event, I can only get 150. So I'm still missing 17. And let's go to the battle frontier and actually see how many can I still get this month. So this is eight over here 10 12 14 16 I can still I can still get enough this month I just need to play this oh god it's a little bit late in the month already though but maybe just maybe I'll be able to actually climb this over here well if I don't get enough this month I'll get for sure on the next one now what would be my goal right now my goal right now is to always make sure 
that uh, first of all i get these items over here and i get these items over here these ones are still needed for my rotom since i only have 200 of those and i still need to go to level 70 which is the level max of the rotom so it's okay it's for sure i will still need those items going to pokemon legends club we have over here the prices of each of those things if you guys want to want to see this the link is in the description below we can see how many points we need for each item to achieve the max amount of exchanges for each item and if you just want to know the total of all of this you have it over here total recycle points needed 120,000 to get all of these things maxed and also for this one over here if you want to max this one out you need 247,500 points which is quite a lot now which items do you want to exchange usually items that you don't want to use anymore or do you don't even plan to use in the future now over here on the website i am suggesting four different items we have exp cards we have super chests we have overlord zeraro stickers and dna splicers let's go for each one of them and let me explain you guys my thought process over here so first of all recycle items i'm going to fast put everything I want to take out those lair uh, hunt maps and I want to take out these super chests just for now and also these berries because my mount is still not maxed out and I still might need those berries okay so first of all exp cards why am I recycling exp cards I'm just going to say yes I want to recycle them now an easy way of getting those exp cards is of course play cross server gyms okay by playing cross server gyms uh, every day you you basically it's not every day you just leave your pokemon over here like twice a week you re reset and you will get a lot of those exp cards a lot of those things right and let's actually collect for everything really quick as you can see i'm getting a lot of gold a lot of exp cards and of course the the items over here for our z rings and the logic over here is i am not planning to get any resonance so soon over here on this account i already have level 100 on all the pokemon that i care so i'm not going to use exp cards anymore now one thing that i have to warn you guys about is don't go over here okay this thing over here this button will automatically consume all the exp cards that you have on your back so if you want to save your exp cards always be careful don't go to that button and then we go over here fast put i'm going to take out the items that i don't want to exchange and we recycle those items the second item in the list is a super chest okay on the super chest you can see each super chest gives me eight thousand so it's quite a good item to exchange why super chests because they are not good to open like they are not good at all you get those super chests when you are level above 100 and you start getting levels like this each level that you level up you will just get the super chest sometimes more and i i wanted to open this to show you guys that it's garbage but i'm even scared of doing that because i might need those chests so just trust me on this one opening this chest is completely garbage just save it up use it on the item recycle and actually i will need all of that sure why not let's yoink goodbye super chests and honestly let me just feed my mount before <laughs> before i make something on accident okay level 45 to 46 very nice let's go going to the item number three on our list we have overlord zerara stickers now let me explain this part over here the overlord zerara stickers that i'm talking about is on the team feeding house sometimes you are short on some recycle points and you really want to get some zerara stick some recycle points <laughs> not zerara stickers so over here on your team feeding house you have your pokemon giving you resources every day uh, or every hour actually and you just feed them yada yada i just collected everything like two minutes ago i should not have but it's okay you guys know then we get those team feeding house 
coins, Blue Team Feeding House coins for each 1000, you get the Zerara sticker. Now, these Zerara stickers over here, they can be a good source of those recycle points because they actually provide quite a lot. We go over here to the team recycle and we go to the tab number four and there you go, we have a Zerara sticker and as you can see, 25,000 of those recycle points. It's actually a lot and it doesn't cost you much, it's like for free, you are not spending resources that uh, would be like super important for your account. So let's just say yoink, goodbye Mr. Zerara and these Zekrom stickers and Reshiram, I don't need them anymore since I do have my own Overlord Zekrom and Reshiram so I don't need those at all. Now right now I'm at 315k of those recycle points and I forgot to mention something early which is don't recycle more than you need that's the reason why this website exists or that's the reason why i have some information over here if we go and add up 247 to 120 this will be three oh whoops 367 around that 367k that's the total amount of uh, points that we need at least to max out these two items. And as you can see, I'm not going to go over that because once this event is over in three days, all of your points will be gone. So it's better to just be careful. Just only get the points that you need so that you have enough points for the next event. But going to the item number four that I have over here, DNA splicers. Now, this is a very specific thing. How do you get DNA splicers? We go over here to the Champion League and every month at around like three days ago, you could support some players on the top eight, trying to guess which are the players that are going to get to the top three places. According to your supportings over here, you will get rewards. So if you guess the champion correctly, you spend 500 diamonds, but you get 1.5k and 10 DNA splicers, etc, etc, according to their ranks and whoever you supported. Now, I should be getting my rewards tomorrow since I did support the players over here. We have the champion, we supported correctly. Third place, we supported correctly, very nice. And runner up, we also supported correctly. So we should be getting the max amount of rewards over here, which are a total of 18 DNA splicers and 3.3k uh, diamonds, which is very nice. Now, at the time that I'm recording this video, the DNA splicers are usually only used for one thing, and that is to make black and white curum, since you need, for example, Zekrom, a curum, and 100 than 20 of those DNA splicers to make a black curum or a white curum. As you can see, you need Reshiram or Zekram over there. That's the only thing these DNA splicers are used for nowadays. So if you have no intention at all of getting those Pokemon, you are free to use the DNA splicers on this event over here. And actually something that I can also suggest, which is my number five. So we have this game mode over here, which is the team arena, right? We go over here. Uh, no, it's this menu over here and we have the team arena over here. Now on the team arena is basically you can join a, t a team. Let's join somebody. Let's apply this guy. Maybe they will start uh, playing it. So I forgot to, do to join at the start of this event. This event happens every month. And over here, based on your ranking of your team, once this event is over, you will get some rewards, usually some coupons to exchange some dolls. The problem with the dolls over here is that they usually don't give you that many stats. So it can be a good thing if you uh, just as you guys can see, I did not exchange any thing over here like anything at all i could exchange the the torchic i could change a mudkip or one of those two and i did not exchange it for this simple reason if i need those items over here for the recycle event since they provide not many stats over there i am free to just come over here and recycle some of the the stats that i might need and as you can see that's a lot of points so let's go step by step right i needed a total of 367k and apologize for my horrible writing but 367k i need around 52k more 
So 52k over here is 26 of those coupons. Let's recycle those. 367k. I need 130 more. So let's just go. I don't know. Let's just go to these wraith over here since I don't. I don't really use them. 130. It's okay. It's, it's like this. Is it exactly what I need? I believe it is. 367 and 500. Now, we just go all the way down and we start exchanging those items over here. And we are done. Exactly. No more recycle points available. We just spent exactly what we needed. Now, one of the things that I also forgot to mention at the start was like, if you need to decide between this and this, what would you choose? Imagine that you don't have enough points. I would honestly go for the Rotom. But here's the thing. This will depend on what do you prefer, what are you aiming for with your account. Because the Rotom provides you more power right now. This provides you more power right now. But the problem is, these items over here, they will also be needed the most. So in other words, your Rotom, you will just get level 70 faster than you complete your Z bracelets over here. Now I would love to get those full Moonstones so that I get ready to unlock the Rotom level 60, but this will be quite expensive. If I grab over here the calculator, 150 times 8,000. This is 1.2 million points. This is quite a lot. Let's go and check what can I recycle over here. So these Overlord Reggie Giga stickers, these are not on my uh, to-do list for sure, but I can also exchange some DNA splicers and some doll coupons. So let's start with the DNA splicers actually, because we have quite, quite the DNA splicers over here. And let's go down to this. 126. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. And now we go for one of this. 1.2 million. I am going for it. These are the items that I'm going to exchange. I don't plan on anything on getting black and white on this account. The only reason why black and white could be useful on my account would be to the research because they provide speed on the research and that's nice. But honestly, no regrets. Let's go. Good night. Let's get the remaining of those stones that I really want. And it's done. Okay, we have the full recycle event exchanged. We don't need anything else over here. We will have our Rotom ready for another episode. I just need to start playing more of that Battle Frontier. And also, I already have a lot of these items over here from previous events. That's why I was saying, if you are planning to get like power right now, Rotom would probably be the best one since it's also cheaper. But if you want to just get the most out of your account along the time, I'm always get these ones over here as you can see I have like almost 2k of this one 2k of this one and 2k of this one now I am going to my Z ring I might be spending some diamonds and I want to unlock the last gold over here and the last gold over here in order so that I can upgrade my Z ring to a Z bracelet and I can actually use those items so look at my diamonds now and wish me luck Ooh, we got one very quickly. <laughs> Let's see if the second one is also as quick as this one. Oh man, I'm going to be stubborn today. I am not living. <laughs> I'm not leaving without a golden stat over here. Just Please, give me the golden stat. I honestly don't advise anyone doing what I'm doing right now. 
I am basically just tilting and ex that spending all my diamonds. Uh, you guys should at least always save 22k and let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, 22k, I am down. It's okay, in a way. It's okay, 19.7k, uh, how much did I spend? I spent almost, so I, I already spent like around 2k before, right? So let's just say I, rent, I spent around 7k. Spent around, around 7k, I will still get some diamonds tomorrow from this. So I am fine, I am fine, I'm totally fine. 100% fine. Oof. Okay, let's go back to our Z-rings over here. Let's click on upgrade since everything is orange now and I can up upgrade my Z-ring to bracelet and boom, off we go. Once you upgrade it, you always want to refine this, okay? Because now the minimum is 100%. So if your minimum is 100%, look at this. You will just get some free stats. All good. Let's do this on all the three. The max, the minimum is 100%, right? And the maximum over here is 150. But that's actually really hard to achieve. So I'm just going to like just get the basics over here. Like get something kind of decent. Which this one already is kind of decent, like around 120 on all of them. It's kind of decent. As you guys can see, it's a little bit harder to get something better. Special attack would be something that I like the most, but also HP will provide me the most power as well at the same time. So I don't, I don't say no to that. I don't say no to that. As you guys can see, this will spend these items over there. And at some point, once you are out of those diamonds, uh, I mean, once you are out of those items, you will start spending diamonds. So for now, it's okay. For now, it's okay. It's a, uh, it's like a basic refine, and nothing crazy. And let me just go over here. Actually, maybe I try to refine this one just a little bit better. 119, 16. I'm losing, not so much. Let me see. 22, 19, and I'm losing five on the special attack. I mean, it's okay, f just for now. Maybe just something a little bit better. Just something a little bit better. Less physical attack, way less physical attack. Plus seven on the special and plus eight on the HP. Maybe for now it's good for me. Yes, let's go, let's keep it that way. Um, <laughs> and now with our super mystery bracelet upgraded, right? We go over there to the middle of the bracelet and this is where you use your items that you just recycled and this will be a lot and a lot of stats hopefully i'll just put this on the speed run okay level 39 as you can see i'm still on 1.7k so let's just say i spent around 300 which is two events of recycle and i can put level 40 on the first ring on the level 40 is when it changes to green and then uh, on the level 70 is when it changes to the other item There we go, level 69, and we are level 70 over here. Now we are starting to use this item and we are going to max out our first ring just like that. And this is why I was telling you guys that you guys should start stocking on the, on these items. If Even if you don't have your rings ready yet, once you finally unlock your ring just like I did today, you will just get a massive amount of power, a massive amount of stats out of just upgrading your ring straight to level 100. Let's check our team right now. 14.7 million. Crazy. So just from these upgrades that we have done and we haven't even done the full Rotom yet. So the Rotom was, uh, it was still an upgrade from the Rotom since I had resources stacked up. So with an upgrade of the Rotom and also an upgrade of the Z ring to a Z bracelet and completing the Z bracelet to level 100, you can see it was almost 1 million power and the total power of the top three of my Pokemon, which is actually freaking amazing. I mean, and I believe 
believe this is it for today's video. You guys can see the power of upgrading Rotom and your Z bracelets with the recycle event. So don't waste any of your recycle points. Always just spend enough so that you can save the items for the next event. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, as always, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.